Hello friends, welcome back to Aunt Debbie's Boutique. We're continuing on with our uh, Halloween decor series and today we're going to make some Halloween pot holders. And for this type of pot holder, we want to fussy cut our uh, front of it. And fussy cut just means that you cut out the fabric uh, intentional to frame your picture in the center of it. This is the fabric that I'm using and the house was too big really for a pot holder so I chose to cut the graveyard and uh, we want to cut, I like my pot holders to be between seven and eight inches in size. So I cut this seven inch inches square. So you'll need your fussy cut picture, seven inch square. Then we want a nine and three quarters inch square that's going to be our backing. We need a four inch by one inch strip that's going to be our little hanging uh, tube. And then you can use batting if you want, but when it's pot holders, I prefer to use a product called Insulbrite. This is what the package looks like, and it is insulated uh, batting. So it will uh, protect your hands from the heat much better. So we cut a seven inch square of that. It's shiny on one side and it's dull on the other and it doesn't matter which side goes up. Okay, this is going to be a very simple project. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and we're going to measure two inches down, not a fraction further on all the corners. Then we're going to take a straight edge and connect the dots across the corners. Now take your scissors or your blade and cut off those corners. The reason I said not a fraction deeper is if you cut off too much, you're going to have to cut down your picture because it's not going to fit in here. Now I'm going to turn a quarter of an inch in on the straight sides. Okay, now we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to fold each of these corners and just sew a quarter inch seam on each one of them. Fold them right sides together so that the edges meet up. Now that I've got those all Sewn. We're going to clip our corner right next 
to the center. Now, let's turn it right side out. Make sure our corners get poked out nice and neat. Then I'm going to iron this in place. And you should have about a one inch border all the way around. Now then, we just take our fussy cut piece and our insole bright and we insert it into our picture frame. And if you find out it's too big, just trim it down a little bit. And I like to iron it again. Now let's pin it before we go sew it. I find that the centers want to pull out away from the picture, so I always pin it in the center to keep that from pulling away. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and just top stitch right next to the edge. We're also going to take our loop, uh, or what's going to be a loop, and we want to do it like we did all the wrist straps that we made purses with. We're going to iron it down the center, then Turn it in halfway on each side. Then fold it together so it's about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to stitch this side closed. Then I'm going to join the two loops here and stitch it and then Turn it the other direction, right side out, and we will attach it to our pot holder. So let's go to the machine and do all of that. Okay, let's give it one last steam. And there we have our finished pot holder to hang around out on around Halloween. And because I always make pot holders in a pair, I've made a second one. I hope you've enjoyed this and will join us again next time as we continue our series on holiday decor. Uh, we still have lots of things to make, 
So save all your fabric and your scraps. I'm using all the same fabric in all my projects so they coordinate. If you enjoyed this, would you please like and subscribe? It helps me be able to bring more videos to you. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Remember, whatever you do, do it to the glory of the Lord.